Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so it's uh, Monday, September 19th, and uh, here in Canada, the Prime Minister has declared uh, September 19th a, uh, a federal holiday. And uh, I thought that was pretty good of him to, uh, you know, make my birthday a, a federal holiday. Uh, I'm 61 today. There was something else in there about a queen or something. I, I don't know what that's about, but, you know, to, to uh, so it's, you know, grab yourself, uh, you know, a handful of beers and, uh, you know, celebrate Dirty Dan's Day. So, uh, yeah, federal holiday. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, um, we're going to tear her back into the uh, front uh, driver's side cowl and uh, an A-filler. Uh, Want to get that hinge... Uh, Hinge section taken care of, and uh, actually, I'd like to get the whole thing wrapped up, at least tacked in place uh, today. So, uh, or by the end of this video, not today. It's more than, more than a day's work here, I think. Um, did a lot of cleaning up and stuff, and I have to take care of a small rust repair. Uh, I've already cut the patch and put it in place. Haven't welded it in yet, but uh, we'll take a look, see, and uh, show you where we're at on that. And uh, yeah, we might as well just get right to it, man. Okay, so uh, here we are. Here's the uh, small rust repair I was talking about. Uh, this is a little bit heavier steel than like just body metal. It's, that's basically one eighth uh, uh, plate. It's pretty heavy. So uh, that's what I'm patching it with. And uh, yeah, I'll get that welded in. And then uh, we're gonna work on, on getting uh, this piece here in. And uh, lined up, tacked in, and uh, go from there. So, uh, yeah, I'll weld this in real quick, clean it all up, and then we'll, uh, we'll get on this here. Okay, so what I've done here is I have cut, you know, down here, like so, down to the bottom of this piece. And I just peeled off this little outside strip. And then I trimmed my other piece, left leaving this little strip and cut, you know, this chunk out, removed it. And I was having all kinds of fitment issues with this curve here, it just wasn't... It wasn't right. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I've fitted up already, and uh, it's okay. But uh, <clears throat> like a dumbass, I did cut this up a little bit too high, so I'm going to have to put a piece in to fill it after, but no biggie. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't, I guess. And there's my piece all patched up, and I give it a shot of uh, rust converter as well before I put all my pieces on. Once I get this piece in, I'm going to paint everything underneath before I put the uh, the outer skin back on. So yeah, we're uh, we're okay other than uh, you know <laughs> measuring improperly like a dumbass. Anyway, we we fix. Okay, so it's vice gripped in place. <clears throat> uh my measurements inside here from here to here is 32 and 3 quarter, which is what I wrote down. Um also I'm at 24 inches from the top center of this top bolt to the center of this bottom one and that's where we're at and then there was a third measurement I didn't know if I'd mentioned it three and three eighths that's from here to the center of the bolt okay from the flat part of the, uh, the rocker to the center of the bolt three and three eighths and that's where I'm at that's what I've got so the measurements are good uh, I'm ready to you know tack this in place and uh, there's that filler piece I was telling you I got to do what an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> you know, make work project. That's just what I need. So, uh, yeah, this is ready to burn in place. So, uh, I'll get that done. And then we're going to start working on getting the outer skin on there. Um, Got to do some trimming and cutting and fitting and what have you. So, uh, yeah, more fun. Okay, so I got her welded in. Um, you know. Painted it uh, with some trim clad and uh, wherever there was uh, exposed metal or a little bit of surface rust. Put in a little reinforcement piece here, like the factory had. The factory one was below, but whatever. Um, fixed up my boo-boo from when I used the elastic band uh, measuring tape, I think. Whatever. And uh, yeah, so she's all welded in and uh, it's where it needs to be. So uh, now I'm ready to put on the outer skin. So... Uh, you know, it was it wasn't that bad really to get this all all together. So, uh, you know, it's, it's been welded in behind as well and down here. So, she's solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. 
So yeah, we'll get on that outer skin. So uh, before I start on that, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take this stupid looking plate off here. It's a cover plate because there's a little hole there. Once you put your inner uh, firewall uh, piece in there, I think I can come up with something a little cleaner than that. And plus, it uh, it allows me to finish welding. You know, throw a couple of beads of weld uh, on that inner uh, kick panel. So uh, yeah, and pull these out. So. I'll get, a, get on that right now. Okay, so I got rid of that plate, cleaned everything up, you know, some gunky, gummy welds there. Uh, welded this all up. So that's all good to go. Um, now I'm ready to fit the outside skin here. Um, <clears throat> the one that's provided comes right up so that it can tuck in underneath. This is a factory joint here. Uh, I'm gonna stay below that. And the reason for that is I'm going to stay away from this is a factory uh, leaded joint here uh that's how they did it back then this was also lead here but uh yeah i want to stay below the lead so i'm going to i'm going to be down here somewhere so i've already marked my panel i'm going to cut it and uh <clears throat> i want to be able to catch the two bolt holes because they're right here that's the bottom hole and this one just a slot so you could slide it up you know, slide it up in the uh, up to that hole and then tighten the bolt. That will keep it in the proper location, <clears throat> and then we can mess around with the rest of the stuff. I am going to have to cut off this lip here, and you can see. I think you can see it pretty clearly. All these little dots here, right? These are uh, plug welds. You know, spot welded in place, and we're going to do the same thing, which means we're going to have to drill a bunch of holes in this flange here, in this lip. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of prep stuff to do, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim the panel. I've already, like I said, I've marked it. I'm going to cut it here, and then and you can just see where I scribed the line. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we'll cut that off, and then we'll start playing around with it and see if we can, can't uh, get it fitted in there. Okay, so I've got it sort of where it needs to be. Uh, it may have to come up just a touch, but uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake because I made down here. <laughs> I'm going to... You know, with, uh, with that stupid mistake. Uh, so I'm going to nibble at this one. I'm going to cut it fairly tight. And if I have to play with it after, no big deal. Now, when from the last video, uh, part one, um, when I first got these two panels, I had a fitment issue right away that I noticed. So I knew this was coming. And here's the problem. Here's this inner um, firewall piece, and it's hitting right here. So that's as high as it's going to go. Well, it's it's sticking out or down past this this piece, and it's supposed to be flush. But you'd say, okay, we'll just cut off the excess. Well, no, that doesn't work. Uh, here's why. If you see, notice here, there's a little sort of a, see how it's dimpled out this way? Those are designed to go over these ribs. Uh, actually, a viewer in the last week's video <laughs> reminded me of that I knew I knew what he he was talking about um, and this hole down here here's a part of the same hole that's where that emergency brake setup was so that tells me this has got to go up you got this gap here so it's got to go up these here have to go up that means this whole piece here has to come up so the easy fix for me would be to you know slice it down in here on each side bend the top of it down, trim the excess off the top, and then weld it back up. Uh, that'll bring the whole thing up where I need it to be, and we should be golden. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this out, modify it, and uh, notch, do my cut. You know, I've got it bolted in here where it's supposed to go. It could actually, like I said, come up just a touch. So, uh, and it's got to go in a little bit. You know, once this metal is cut away that's behind it, it'll automatically want to come in. So, yeah, I'm going to cut that. Uh, there's a whole lot of cutting to do. but uh, And then i got to drill a whole, whole bunch of holes down in here for uh, my plug welds to weld it into the, the, pe the piece in the back. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, when I get everything cut and modified and back to fitting where it needs to be, 
Uh, I kind of got to put these two pieces in at the same time because once this is in place, this won't doesn't want to fit in there. So I got to kind of play around with it, fit both pieces at the same time, and uh, get her lined up. So yeah, we'll play with it, get it done. So when I got it figured out, I'll uh, come back and show you where we're at. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll show you this modification real quick. So what I did was I sliced it down both sides, and then I just bent the middle middle piece in and cut off the excess i did that on this side and i just got to cut off the excess on this side i'll tack it together make sure it fits and if it's good then i'll weld it all the way up so uh yeah i'll check it out in a minute <laughs> Okay, so a whole bunch of prep work's been done. Uh, this is all cut and it's, you know, ready to be butt welded. Everything fits in. It'd be a piece of hammering and stuff while I'm welding, but good fit. I've also drilled all my holes all the way down here for plug welding, welding to the uh, jam. I've also drilled a whole bunch of holes down here for plug welding into the inner panel. And the inner panel, um, you know, I did the modifications I needed to do at the top. And I'll just trim off that excess edge there after it's in. And, you know, I'm going to be closing this in anyhow after. Make something nice so it doesn't look so so much like a hack job. You know, that stupid plate just sitting there. It's kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, so it's pretty much ready to start welding together. And uh, I'm going to fit that piece in in there first before I start. Make sure it's it's in. <clears throat> I've measured across uh, the distance in between. Everything seems to be uh, kosher. So, uh, yeah, it's ready to uh, to burn that in. So I'm going to tack it in place first. And uh, maybe I'll come back and show you what I got. And then we can finish welding her up. So, yeah, I'm uh, that, that'll be the whole corner done. So that's, that's awesome. Okay, so I figured I'd show you uh, at least what, what people are going to see. Uh, you know, the exterior. Um, so, you know, it uh, came out good. Um, you know, all the plug welds, they're cleaning up nicely. Everything held nicely. And, uh, you know, everything lines up. So I think we're golden, man. So I've got to go ahead and finish welding up, you know, this joint and a few more plug welds down below and stuff. Clean everything up. Um, I'm also going to have to make up a cap for here uh, to clean that up and uh yeah we're in we're in good shape so uh now that that whole corner is done that was that was the biggest job on this truck um so that's that's a huge relief uh i've got probably a day of miscellaneous stuff to do on that i'm going to get on that in the next video um you know i've got to finish off some of the holes in the firewall i've got about like i said 10 left uh, i've got to get down and finish my plug welds in the cab corners i've marked some dents with some tape i'll pull these out there's three four of them um yeah and actually i'm probably gonna do a little patch down here i noticed a small little rust spot so 
yeah, I'm going to cut out the piece. I have a panel. I might as well use it. Just got to cut, you know, up from maybe here down. So not, not like the, uh, <laughs> not like the other side. Uh, that was a big job. But anyway, and then, uh, yeah, once that's done, then, uh, I'm going to shoot it in epoxy primer and get the cab back on the frame so I can figure out what we're doing for the transmission, uh, transmission tunnel and at that time that's when i'm going to finish patching up the uh you know some of these holes from the emergency brake and fill this in and a bunch of holes here so we'll get that all done at the same time but uh you know i want to get it clearanced for the transmission first so that uh i know where everything is going to go and uh yeah then we can start body working this thing so sweet moving right along i'm uh, i'm quite pleased with the uh with the cowl uh, all my measurements seem to be right on, so I think we're good to go, man. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you know, the uh, entire driver's side cowl, A-pillar, kick panel, everything. That whole thing is all new steel. Uh, you know, it's there's no issues there. There's absolutely zero rust left on this truck. It's all been cut out and replaced. So, uh, yeah, quite pleased. That was, that was a big job and probably the biggest metalworking job anyway on this entire truck so i'm glad it's out of the way <clears throat> you know i won't know for sure until i i get the cab on the uh, frame and, and fit the doors about the gaps and stuff but it's going to be close enough um, if there's any adjustments to do it's pretty simple um, i can widen or or close up those gaps pretty easily and if i have to well i'll do that and i'll, I'll show you the tricks but uh i'm hoping i don't have to i'm hoping i just bolts on there and everything's everything's hunky dory but we'll see I did a lot of measuring um you know trying to make sure that everything's going to fit so uh but like i said you never know until you actually hang the doors and see what you got so having said that now that i've got a uh, about a full day left of metal work going zipping around the whole truck um you know a lot of grinding and some welding and stuff like that um and I'll be ready to uh, to shoot this thing in epoxy primer. We'll let it sit for a day and then uh, throw it back on the chassis and see what we got. I want to open it up for the uh, for the transmission, figure out a transmission tunnel. And uh, this thing's going to be off and on the frame probably three or four times before it's uh, it's all settled. Um, just the way it is. Uh, I think on my 50 Ford, I had that cab off and on the truck half a dozen times before I finally uh, bolted it down. And that was just a clear coat of uh, patina finish. You know, it's not, uh, not a finished paint job like this thing's gonna be. So there's that. And uh, yeah, so we're moving right along. <clears throat> the only real metal work I'm gonna have left is the box and rear fenders after this. Uh, front fenders and hood are done. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, mud slinging coming up pretty soon. Um, and sanding, my favorite. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, good number of views last uh, video, and uh, I'm hoping this part two does the same thing. Um, a good, good bunch of uh, subscribers, uh, almost, almost twenty. Um, so that's pretty good, you know, in a few days. Uh, so, you know, thanks for subscribing, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And, uh, you know, like the page and all that stuff. And don't be afraid to leave comments down below. I do answer them. And uh, uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy reading the comments. And every once in a while, you know, you get a hot tip from someone uh, last week. Uh, you know, even though I knew what he was talking about, uh, you know, it was still a good tip. If, uh, if I didn't know, uh, yeah, it would have helped me out. Uh, as it is, where those little bumps in that inner panel are on the ribs they're they're pretty wide they're about an inch wide maybe a little bit more and that rib is only like three-eighths of an inch wide or half an inch so you've got a fair amount of adjustment and really I came in just just above it like it just just made it so uh, yeah it worked out um, I wasn't happy with the fitment of that inner piece uh, it was twisted and bent in and all kinds of things. I did a lot of manipulating on that thing to get it in there. Anywho, um, yeah, so like I said, subscribe 
And, uh, you know, if you don't do anything else, get up in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.